Hi, my name's Camilla. I'm the author of Call Me Lion. I'm absolutely thrilled that it's been selected as one of the Empathy Lab collection books. And I'd like to read you a short section of the book. It's a story about friendship between Leo and Richard, who are on the front of the cover here. And Leo has a social anxiety condition called selective mutism, which means he can't talk. Um, and the section I would like to read you is they're at dance school. They both love dancing. And the girls in the class have decided they would like Richard to be their friend. Um, and they're trying to persuade her to dance with them. And obviously Leo can't talk to say how he feels about that. But we're in his head. Um, and it's a demonstration of how Richard empathises with Leo's situation. I hope you enjoy it. I suppose we could dance nearer the back, couldn't we, Leo? Richard says slowly. There's a pause, filled only with the heat and the thundering of my heart. Richard still wants me to be her friend. She wants all of us to be friends. I don't know why she does or how she has landed here, but I am totally grateful for her. Not sure there's room for two, says Tiffany. It's like another nasty blow from her, this time a sharp stinging slap across my face. It's a bit crowded at the back, agrees Scarlet. Smack! I think all the new people are hiding there, says Marion, joining in. All three of them are ganging up against me. Be best if it's just you, Richard, says Tiffany. Slap! Even though Leo can dance, he won't be able to tell us all the names of the moves, will he? Scarlet says. I sense them huddled tighter together. They're closing in on Richer like a pod of killer whales diving down on a school of fish. This is the moment of truth. Richer has to choose. The truth is there for her to see. We can't all be friends together. I'm the loner. I'm the boy who can't talk. How can you be friends with someone who can't talk? You can't. It's impossible. The moment stretches long and uncomfortable. You better ask the teacher for help then, says Richard, a tone sharp and final. She spins and sits down next to me so forcefully that a little whoosh of the air lifts my lion's mane. It's a small movement. Richard has only sat beside me, not stepped on the moon. But to me, it feels just as monumental. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for listening.